Get back here, little boy. I was about you eat that little spider. <laughs> Kevin's about to attack Patrick. <laughs> Oh, this is where they're all hiding. Sweet wampum, look at this hole. Up, oh, goats in the house. All these fellas are in my kitchen. But okay, guys, let's take a look at the undercarriage of this Oscar. Okay, everyone, go ahead. Come on up. Come on into my new home. Come on, you too, half cock. Come on. This week, we're going to go ahead and rehome the goat. Found a lovely place with a lot more acreage, so these guys will have a lot more space to run around and play. We actually have a few people that want them. The PewDiePie and Markiplier have been fun, and we enjoyed having them here at the Urban Rescue Branch. And what's most important is that they taught half cock how to love again and honestly they made him a lot more friendly oh goats in the house uh -oh. okay buddy come on get back out of here get out of here no but look how sweet half cock is now you guys he never could figure out how to hop up those stairs but i am getting tired of them pooping on my porch and they figured out how to open this door they'll get stuck in here once they get in here and i'm afraid they're gonna rip their way out and remington's over here for some reason now also the egret is now flying and ready to be released i'm gonna do a a soft release for the egret at the pond and then hopefully he'll just fly off eventually and perhaps we'll give you guys some updates on markiplier and pewdiepie and their new home see guys this is exactly what i'm talking about they'll get in here and then they can't get back out and then they want to just come into the house and then they'll just come right in the house but we found a lovely new home for them you guys so i don't have to deal with them screaming in my ears and pooping all of my porch in my new yard and not to mention they'll have tons more space and food later that night i moved markiplier and her two children into the side yard so they can start to eat solid foods. Once I see that these guys are eating a lot of solid food on their own, we can start to wean them. Beautiful little fella. I also took this little fella out for his soft release. So he can either hang out at this pond and snipe all the little fellas in there. Ooh, a nice little spider. Beautiful little spider there. How's about you eat that little spider? Okay, so he was able to fly to the other side of the pond. And for the rest of the night, he just sat on the log and ate my fish. Okay, guys, so now Homelander is separated from those other cringe ah uh, uh, ostriches. As you can see, Homelander is very sweet not like those other cringe muscle mommies and i did want her to have some friends but it makes a lot more sense to just have two back here but look at this you guys no other ostrich on planet earth that i know of at least would let you get this close to it and scratch it in the face in the middle of the no other ostrich will let you get a real nice look into the middle of that what's going on in that little ear hole sure wouldn't mind putting my fingers in that hole <laughs> she looked at me oh sweet wampum look at at this hole if you guys wondered this is what homelander looks like straight on i didn't have to feed him for him to be this cute it's just because i took such a good care of him when he was a little baby because he had splayed legs and now they've healed up completely and this little fella is a healthy adult ostrich let's see where he got kicked but okay guys let's take a look at the undercarriage of this ostrich but first don't forget to like the video <laughs> I call these little feather nubs. This is why ostrich skin boots have those little bumps on them, you guys. If you look up ostrich leather boots, they're very popular here in Texas and in the South. Uh, as you can see, I don't have to worry about her kicking me because she's very friendly. Wow, what a monumental day for the Urban Rescue brand. And Big Ounce is just sleeping in the corner. Oh, look at Biggerton going over to see them again. This is Big Ounce's first time seeing them since they were tiny. This is his first time interacting with them since they were tiny, about his size. Bigger Tin would rather spend time with me than these dinguses. Bibertons. But look at this, you guys. As you can see, the flooring is starting to crack and fall apart because the foundation is so bad in this house. I spared just about every expense in fixing this place up. As you can see, there's a good size crack. These little fellas don't care to spend too much time in here because there's no food in here. And it's not too cold. But I'm going to go ahead and put some lights up on the porch so these guys can feel a little bit more comfortable. And with this camera, I can watch them at all times. Look at this, you guys. All all these fellas are in my kitchen. Oh, good morning, everybody. It is the next day, and that egret sat here for a while eating some of my fish. Then he flew off, so he's out there somewhere. I think the little guy just had a messed up wing for a bit. Just by feeding him and keeping him in there for a few days really was all he needed. Once his strength regained, he was ready to go back into the wild. Hello, my adorable little queeb. Oh, uh, look how perfect these two babies are. Now I have all of the gates to the paddocks open back here. Water is super high because we keep getting 
getting a lot of rain. We even have lily pads in the wetland filter now. So things get to stay nice and hidden under here. Check this out, you guys. Look how high the water level is compared to how it normally is. But last night I did stay up till 5 a.m. working on all of this. But as you can see, all these paddocks are open for the Rhea, the babies, and this little fella to just go wherever they want. Look at that little Inca dove, you guys. I also went ahead and put all the chickens in here. And baby and his wife are just sunbathing right now. That's weird. This is the closest one of these little Inca doves has ever let me get to it. I hope it's not injured. Oh, it looks like it is. That's funny. Oh, no, never mind. There he goes. Well, I would have taken care of him if he was. But for the time being, it's nice to have all the chickens out here. They still have plenty of grass, bugs, and food to eat in here. And they all get to stay safe from aerial predators. But I am going to have to grab a kiddie pool or something and put it under here. Thankfully, this does work and water comes out of it. So I can go ahead and use this to fill up their water. Now, even the nasty feral chickens are warming up to me. Now, all these nesting boxes that are in here can actually be used. Even though it looks like they're just laying their eggs on the ground here. I'm going to try to put a liner in here in the next couple days so this retains more water. At least we have this spigot so I don't have to carry a bucket all the way out here. And the baby and his wife really love this back area here. And all these animals now have adequate shelter in here. Look at this sleepy, sleepy boy. This man acting like he's dead. Good morning, my precious angel. Oh, I'm sorry for waking you up, buddy. I'll leave you alone. Good morning, my queen. Hero Brian and Steve are very happy in here with several little hides to stay in. Homelander lives here now, and I cleaned all the goat poop off the porch and rehomed them. I also burned most of the pallets and the extra wood that was just lying around here. And until these babies are weaned, I'm keeping them here with me in this little area here where they have plenty of food, water, and shelter. And also I want to socialize them so they'll be friendly for the next people to take them. But they're all going to stay together as a big happy family with Halfcock and PewDiePie at my buddy's ranch. On 40 acres. And this one doesn't even complain when I grab them. And Markiplier doesn't mind when I grab them either. All right, son go ahead hop off oh that was close hey why i couldn't help but notice that you screenshotted there why did you why'd you do that didn't even like the video yet in your, in your screenshot and now that that heron's been successfully released i have a little surprise for you guys this is the new most expensive axolotl tank that anyone has ever made but as you guys can see i have a hero brine variant here and the pond is shallow enough to where I can reach down and feed them from anywhere. And this liner is technically better than just bare glass for their feet. Oh, I'm sorry, all you axolotl experts out there. Is this enough space for two adult axolotls? All this space to run around in here. All this space. Face. And I gave a worm to this adorable little precious baby. Now let's sojourn over to the comment section where we'll see all 300 different reasons why this is an inadequate setup for these axolotls. Also look at this little dragonfly boy I found. And I give these guys some worms every few days. And for the rest of the winter, the water in there will be the perfect temperature for them. But as you guys can see, the rhea are just free ranging in all of these enclosures as well. And I'm also going to let the goats out here so they can eat all the leaves that are falling off the trees. There's still plenty of water in this little pond here. Uh oh, Kevin's about to attack Patrick. No, Kevin, back off. Get away from him, Kevin. Look at him just running right up to me. But now that I've put all these animals out here together, Kevin seems to be a little bit more of himself, but he's still not attacking me for some reason. But Patrick, Kumala, the baby's wife, and the baby, who I think is behind here, all seem to be enjoying all their new space. The goats completely destroyed the greenhouse, but that's a problem for another day. What's important is that all my little children here have tons of space to run around and graze. And with this much space, I hardly even have to worry about feeding these guys now. And it's nice to just have one Cappy that gets to enjoy the pond every day. And because there's so much space for him to go to, I don't think he's even pooping in here anymore. Also, look at Patrick jump over this ledge, you guys. Wow, he's so athletic. He'll always be my beautiful little baby. And it's nice to spend a bit more time interacting with Soldier Boy. And as soon as this grass grows in a little bit more, I'm gonna let the baby goats come out here to wean. Look at that man chasing Patrick around. Ooh, it's in the mid-70s right now. And that's what a typical fall day is here at the Urban Rescue Branch. Baby Gronk is still very happy in here, but I'm gonna have to put some more water in here in a bit. Cleaned up the whole barn at two in the morning last night, including Poggers and Queen's mess that they made. And pretty soon I'm gonna start letting these guys have free range of the whole property again. But it's gonna be a slow process to make sure that Patrick and the female kangaroo is safe. And I'm gonna start with just Poggers for a while. But I released the three turtles that I was rehabilitating in here, and these squirrels are just
are just about ready to be released as well. As a matter of fact, these, along with some shelled pecans that I'll be picking up with some friends on campus today, are the last pecans I'll ever be feeding these fellas before they get released. Oh, this is where they're all hiding. Look at this precious little fella. I planted all these pumpkins here after I rehomed the pigs. And as a treat, I'll be giving this little thing here to the Kathy. Here they come. This will teach them to eat my pumpkins. <laughs> it actually will. I'm going to go ahead and cut these up for them. Check this out, you guys. I can just cut this right in half. Look at that. I'm just going to start cutting chunks off for these boys. They sure do like their pumpkin. But after they're done eating all these, I'm going to plant the seeds in the back so that we can have some of these pumpkins of our own next year. I did just witness Gort attacking Quanda. Just goes to show you guys, they attack each other over food more than anything. I think Kumalo was just the smallest little boy, and that's why he got picked on. <laughs> This is literally Minecraft. Back up, guys. I'm cutting it. I don't want to hit you by accident. Back up. Back up, Gort. Back up. Okay, this should satisfy these guys for a while now. That's it for now, though, you guys. I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ooh, almost forgot to tell you. <laughs> Get back here, little boy. Ah!